Bret Hart. In the wake of WrestleMania 13, as audiences began to gravitate towards Stone Cold Steve Austin, a dark cloud began to form, separating the hitman from fans south of the Canadian border. First of all, I want to apologize. What? To all my great fans in Canada. For what? And to you, my fans right here across the United States of America, I apologize for nothing. You take a gunless creep like Stone Cold Steve Austin and beat him to a bloody pulp, even though you all know that he lost, you cheer him on the way back to the dressing room like he won. You don't respect me. Well, the fact is, the American wrestling fans can kiss my ass. Let me clear the air because I never, ever said I quit. You never got the job done. As Bret Hart's relationship with the American fans continued to crumble. Americans don't give a damn about family. The hitman would turn to his family to forge a new foundation. I'm asking you for your help because I need you. It would take more than numbers to rattle the rattlesnake. I'm finished with you. You'll have to kill me to be finished with me. The only way I'm going to get Stone Cold Steve Austin off my back is to end his career. Like a pack of wolves! One of these days, April 20th at In Your House, I'm going to look down at your grave. Here lies Bret the Hitman Hart, because Steve Austin whipped his pink and black <laughs> And that's the bottom line. The Stone Cold sets up. most tenacious SOB in the history of WWE. Yeah, he's here to fight. It's as simple as that. times these men have fought, one or the other was struggling with injuries, be it Stone Cold's knee or the hitman's ribs. Yeah, but not tonight, JR. No excuses here. Just two of the best standing toe to toe. Here we go. Starting quick, as you might suspect it would. The two competitors lock up. And it appears to be a test of strength here. Oh, a 
huge slam. Steve Austin establishing the deliberate pace now. Wow, a nice blow to the arm. Bret Hart would love to break Austin's leg. It's that simple. Bret Hart, quite frankly, would like for Stone Cold to not even be in WWE. And I think the feeling is mutual. You think? There's absolutely no doubt the feeling is mutual. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. for Steve Austin. Four. Five. Back in the ring again. This match is personal, Six. JR. I mean, deeply personal between these two. And what's it gonna take to settle it? Well, if history is any guide, one of these men might have to be knocked unconscious for the other to win. Oh, look at Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's feeling it. He knows he's in charge right now. Look out, Bret Hart. Oh, double axe hand on to Hart's head. Austin wants to beat Hart like a government mule oh. here with the hitman. He's not gonna give up without a fight. And that's why we've had this whole match. Whoa. A fight. This fight is still outside the ring, out onto the floor, and it can get dangerous out here. Oh, look out. Austin. Reversal. Oh, Austin reverses. And Bret Hart goes for the ride. My God, there's no surcease, and Hart's got a family, for God's sakes. I don't think Stone Cold Steve Austin cares about Hart's family right now. Watch out. Oh! Hart's head bouncing off the steps. The tide has turned. And now, look at the rattlesnake. He's adding insult to injury, mocking Bret Hart. Austin's in a fighting mood. Back where it belongs, inside the ring. Oh, ow! He made that reversal look easy. You'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. the shaft, and then bam! What a reversal! Bret Hart, the master strategist, focusing right back on the leg. And one would have to assume that this will be Bret Hart's focus for the balance of this match, however long it goes. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and a superstar is only as strong as his worst injury. Remember that, folks. Bret Hart's smart enough to attack Austin's knee. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Oh, nice counter. Going for an encore here. And now Bret Hart pushing forward. Now that's how you do it. Not the most effective striking here. He's got to be vigilant about not taking any more... The shoulders are down! And the strike connects. And he unloads with everything he's got. Tremendous reversal. Just toying with the competition a little. at this. Unbelievable. What a machine. Look at him go. Yeah, Austin blocking out the paint and just fighting like a, like a pit bull dog. And that dog looks like he's about to tear the hitman apart. Oh! Yeah. 
Not trying to sound like an orthopedic surgeon here, King, but the medial collateral ligaments taking a beating and the ACLs taking a beating. Okay, Dr. Ross. I thought you were a proctologist anyway. On the offensive here. Reversal by Steve Austin. If he gets going like this, there are few better. Even if you can get back to your feet after a move like that. At this stage of the match, you're still struggling to find your balance. Somehow, what a move! What a smart move! his opponent to the great counter. Look at this. Bret Hart doing some good work here. Incredible counter. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Great offense by Bret Hart. Oh, gosh. Hey, what do you want for your last meal? He's going for the top turnbuckle. Giving some air here. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. And a counter. Wow, he didn't expect that to happen. Oh, clothesline! And somebody's going to be sore in the morning. His strike hits nothing but air. Oh, nice counter. The machine is being taken apart. What are all those things in there, Ross? Crucible ligaments? But all those kinds of things. Interior cruciate? ACL? What do you think they're doing right now? Medial collateral? They're screaming. Well, King, I'm not sure ligaments can scream, but they sure as hell can burn, and they can throb. That's got to hurt. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. What a match here in Rochester, New York. It is Stone Cold Steve Austin using the strength oh, of Bret Hart. It's essentially three on one against the Rattlesnake. We have some other officials trying to keep the Hart Foundation at bay. Yeah, good luck with that. Stone Cold Steve Austin going back with that sharpshooter again. He's trying to beat Bret Hart with his own home. The Hart family fights like this at Sunday breakfast. <laughs> and Austin, Trying to win with a sharpshooter. Oh, watch out. Look out. He's got a chair. Oh, my God. Austin Hammer right in the spine with that steel chair. The referee calls to the bell. That'll be a disqualification. Bret Hart will lose this match via disqualification. This is not the way Austin wanted to win it. No doubt about that. Wait a minute. Of the disqualification, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Making the mistake of getting back in the ring, thinking Austin's wounded prey, but Austin's loaded oh, for Bear, oh, and Austin's loaded for Hitman with a shot you can hear in Calgary. Get out! Oh! Right across the knee with a steel chair. Austin laying it in on the Hitman Bret Hart. And now it looks like the Rattlesnake is determined to break the leg of the hitman Bret Hart. Ironically, in Hart's own sharpshooter. Man, what about poetic justice here? The referee trying to reason with Austin, who's won the match by disqualification. Here are some other officials. There's no stopping the rattlesnake now. We need a rattlesnake intervention. <laughs> this is not the way Austin wanted to win the match. 
by disqualification. But what a rivalry between Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the Hart Foundation that is far from over. I guarantee you that. Trying to help a limping Bret Hart back to the dressing room. And the Texas Rattlesnake gets his hand raised. He'll get the winner's share of the purse tonight, and the Hart Foundation forced to regroup.